Sometimes in our projects, we'd like to have multiple parts to the project, which can be accessed through a simple start screen. So for example, we might want to have a button that says begin situation one, and another one that says begin situation two. And we do different things depending on which one you click. So let's make that happen. So to begin with, let's just delete the default cat here uh, by right clicking or shift clicking. Uh, and we'll just paint ourselves a new sprite to create a new button. Now, we don't want to be in bitmap mode, we want to be in vector mode, so I'm going to hit convert to vector, and I'm going to draw a rectangle, and we'll just go like that. Now, that rectangle is about the size we want it, so that'll work. Now, right off the bat, it's probably worth noting that if I try to click and drag with the middle of this rectangle, nothing happens. But if I select it by the outside of it, by the black portion, I should be able to do it. Right now I'm struggling to do it, but I should be able to select it on the outside. There we go. Uh, but the reason that it's not working on the inside is if I zoom in here, you can see that there is this uh, checker-like pattern happening here, and that's just indicating transparency. So there's a transparent bit in the middle that we can't select. So let's just add in a color. So I'm gonna use a paint bucket tool, and I'll pick a color. Let's go with light blue and I'll add that in. Now I should be able to grab this anywhere and move it just fine. So let's add in a bit of text. So let's pick a different color for our text. Let's go with bright red and I will just say begin situation one. And we can move that so click outside of it and then just drag it into the middle there. That should work out okay. Just like that. Uh, and then what we'd like to do is we want to add in one additional uh, costume here. So really what I'd like is if you notice, anytime that you hover over any button on your screen, there's going to be some visual indication that you're hovering over that button. So to make that happen, we need to like change the background color or change the text color or perhaps both. So maybe I'll call this costume not hovering over. And I'll make another one, so I'll just duplicate this, and I'll call this one hovering over. And in here, I'm just going to change the text color. So instead of being uh, blue, let's go with a light red, maybe a little darker than that. Uh, and let's change our text color to be blue. So now we've got two different situations like that. And now that I look at that, that might not work so well. We might want to make that just a little bit lighter so we can read that a bit better. There we go. Great. So two different scenarios. Now, what we want to do is we want to set it up so that when I hover over that button, that it looks as though I'm hovering over it. So to do that, let's hook that up to a when the flag is clicked. We want to do something forever. So the thing we want to do forever is we want to ask a question, is the mouse touching it? And if it is, let's switch it to the hovering over button. If it's not, then let's switch it to this costume. So in order for that to happen, because we want to have one thing happen in one scenario, a different thing happen in another, we want to use an if else block. And the question we want to ask is just, is it touching the mouse? So we go to sensing, we say if touching the mouse pointer, then Let's go to our looks and simply switch the costume to hovering over. And if it's not, so inside the else, let's switch the costume to not hovering over. And let's check it out. So if I click the flag, great. So now we have a button that looks like it's a button because it gives us a visual indication that we're actually able to click it and do something. Now. Let's try to set it up so that we actually have something happen because right now, although there's that visual indication, nothing will actually occur. So let's try to make it so that something occurs. So specifically, let's have a couple of sprites that will show up when we click on that situation one. So let's go with a bat and we'll have the bat sitting over here. And let's go with uh, the bear. Sure, the bat and bear. Now, I want them to be hidden originally, and I want them to show up when I click Begin Situation 1. So to hide them originally, let's just say, when you click the flag, I want to go to Looks and say Hide. 
And I want that same thing to happen to the bat, so I'll just drag this over to the bat and let go, and now it should be there as well. So if I click the flag, they disappear, but if I click on situation one, currently nothing happens. So what we want is to go back to this button and say, we need to broadcast a message that says, when I click this button, let's have these things show up. So to do that, go to events and say, broadcast message, and the message will be uh, begin situation one. And we want that to happen when you click this sprite. So when the sprite is clicked, begin situation one. Uh, so if we do that and we click on the bat, we can simply say, when I receive situation one, let's show up. And I want the same thing to happen to the bear. So I'll drag this over to the bear. And there we are. So let's try it. So I click the flag, click on situation one, and they both show up. Though we forgot to make situation one hide. So let's go back to that and say, not only do I want to begin situation one, but I also want the button to hide. So there we go. We can begin. Great. So there we are. Now, of course, it wouldn't just have to be these things show up. We could have anything occur now, but at the very least, we have them show up. So we click the flag and we're back to this scenario. Whoops. We now notice that we forgot to make the button show up again when we click the flag. So let's just add a show button here before the forever block. So I click the flag and I see it show up. Great. So let's add a second button uh, that has a second scenario begin. So I'm just going to right click or shift click on this, hit duplicate. And now we have a already functioning button. So if I run it, they should both look like they do something. If I click it right now, they both do the exact same thing. So let's fix that. Let's go into this costume and first just double click on the text there and say situation two. And in here, situation two, that'll work. Uh, go back to my scripts. And this time, if you click on it, I don't want to begin situation one. I want to broadcast begin situation two. And so now we have a separate broadcast. So we are going to want to put a couple of different sprites on here. So let's pick a few more sprites. Let's go with this time a dinosaur. And we'll put him over here. And let's pick another one. Doesn't really matter what it is. You can pick whatever you like. But let's go with uh, Giga. Okay, so now we want both of these to show up when we click on Begin Situation 2. Well, those are very, very similar things to what we had with the bat. So let's just drag this over onto the dinosaur. And I'll drag this one as well. And onto Giga. So we want to do the exact same things. However, for the dinosaur and for Giga, I want them to show up when I receive Situation 2 not situation one. So let's just change that for the both of them. And there we go. And let's try it out. So they disappear when we click the flag. Situation one has these show up that we forgot to deal with the button. Situation two has these show up that we forgot to deal with the button. So all we have to do is fix that button issue and line these up a little nicer. And there we go. So let's try to deal with the button not disappearing. So what we need to have is one more uh, when I receive block in here and simply say when I receive and in this one it's situation one so when I receive situation two the other button I'm gonna wanna hide so in either situation I'd better hide and I'll drag that across to the other button and simply say when I receive situation one which is the other button was clicked then I should hide as well so let's test it out and make sure it's working. Click the flag. Situation one gets me here. Click the flag again. Situation one gets me here. So now we have two very different situations happening. And of course, you could make whatever you'd like happen. These uh, sprites could have a conversation. You could have them play a game. Whatever you want to do would work just fine. Uh, and of course, you can just use more broadcasts or, or other control structures to make that happen.